G'day, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to the Pedal Picassos. If it is your first time, please give us a thumbs up, hit like, um, subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment in below, be a part of the conversation. It all helps us bring you things like this. I've already done a video on the Most Sky Classic F2 um, pedal, amp in a box. Take on a Tech 21 Sans Amp um, amp emulator in a pedal where you can just plug straight into the PA with this and this will emulate perhaps a Fender amp. Now, I'm putting this up against the Joyo American which does the same thing to see how many similarities there are and how many differences there are. I actually use this Joyo American on my pedal board for solo and duo gigs at the moment. It's sitting there at the end of my pedal board as a fairly clean palette um, and I run a few pedals into that. A couple of gain stages, uh, my, my favorite drive pedals, and some modulations, reverbs, whatever. But pr prior to that, I and in some other band situations, I'll maybe take out the Blues Deluxe um, to have a, a real valve or tube amp uh, with a mic'd up speaker. All right, this will let you do it, just in a very small box, very small footprint. How similar are they? I'm gonna zero all the knobs and we'll AB them and uh, see how we go. Main difference uh, is real estate. So the Joyo is significantly larger um, than the Moskai Audio Classic f d f d yeah. So, we've got these uh, all, all about 12 o'clock. Um, no need to get too pedantic about it because I have been playing with this and I have I have uh, got some variances just on on uh, on position to try and dial them very close. All right, this is the Joyo American. Um, well, first up, I'll say that I've got um, Fender Strat with some noiseless Gen 4 pickups in it. This is going straight into the door. There's nothing else. Nothing else. Straight in. Okay, here's our Joyo American. Straight out of the box, there's a usable sound with everything on 12 o'clock. We will be able to do some tweaks to that to get it sound, you know, even nicer. Let's see what the Moskai, Moski, uh, sounds like. Okay, got similar sounds. Once again, Joyo. Nice guy. Slightly, slightly different sound, but the EQ, the, the sound characteristics are very similar. I will set the American to how I run it live, which is a fairly clean palette. I bring the voice back from noon. I bring the drive up a little bit, but I don't want it to break up. I generally push the, the master level up. And then some tops. Just to get some spangly spankaroonie going on. Probably said it something like that. The thing that I'm most wary about is where the bottom end gets gets very, very flabby and farty. So I generally back that off and leave it at noon. All right, let's see if I can replicate that. And I'll just set the pedals at where they are on the Joyo and I'll match them on the Mos Moski Moski Doski. All right. Once again, Joyo, Mosky, sounds like there's a bit more gain. Definitely is. Now that could be a result of um, the values on, on, on these pots being slightly different and they, they are, the tolerances is, 
even if they're at, at uh, 5%, it will give you, um, on a logarithmic scale for gain, a, a fair difference. <laughs> Still more gain and break up on the Moski and this. Could do a little more tops. They are sounding different. They're similar, but definitely a different tone. All right, I just want to hear this tone again. It's definitely more level in the Mosque. Different, different about it. I still like both the sounds. Um, I was fiddling with these before, and I kept coming back to the Joyo going, yeah, it's just got. So if I want to set up the Moski to, to respond the way that the Joyo does. The voice, uh, as in the middle pot on the bottom row, has got the biggest uh, change characteristic um, influence on this pedal. Let's see how dirty we can make one. I'll go with the, the Moski first to get a, a nice, dirty, broken up, sort of fenderish sound. <laughs> and I've got them both on there, and I'm liking that cascading gain. But I'll just go for the Moski one first. Listen to that mid-range. It's a huge value change there. Don't mind that. Let's see if we can get something similar on the uh, the Joyo. I'll just set the knobs about the same. Let's see, see if we can get the same response. No, no. Let's see what goes on there. <laughs> The 
Musky definitely has more grunt coming out of it, a, a, a bigger, bigger gain. So I'll just set this one up so it's got more of the joy out. both i like what they can do and i like the fact that they're incredibly easy on your wallet um very budget friendly i'm not going to go into ethics about cloning or copying circuits or anything like that I just uh acknowledge that we have choice as guitarists and um and the choice between spending you know a thousand dollars on a pedal and fifty dollars on a pedal is entirely yours and um, the fact that we can do that um, I think means that we're extraordin extraordinarily fortunate in this day and age. I think I paid fifty or sixty dollars for the Joyo. I paid fifty dollars for the. And this is Australian for the for the most guy. Um, value for money, without doubt. Construction on both is good. Solid enclosures, no doubt about that. Pots feel good on both. Um, I I would swap the most guy if. Uh, and trade, us, trade the joyous place on my pedal board just to save me some real estate if it's going to give me the type of, I don't know, haptic feedback that I, I, I get when playing through through the Joyo. Because there is something about the Joyo that maybe is more equivalent to the, uh, the original Tech 21 Sans Amp circuit. I don't know. I can't compare it against the Tech 21 Sans Amp because I don't have one. Um, I have had a Tech 29 Fly Rig um, 5, which was great. This is good too. <laughs> Set one clean and one dirty. If you want to use them both and have cascading gain stages like I did before, nasty. <laughs> there put one clean one dirty fun for days. See you next time. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>